Hey guys, it's Damien from Marketing Food Online. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm going to do a very, very fun video. Um, this is going to show you um, a tip. This is going to be a tip for you to take, and I will give you an idea that is something that um, I have been doing for quite some time, and you can actually do this yourself if you are online seller. Um, the concept of bundling okay is something that's not new it's definitely something that i did not create but i will tell you when you create bundles and you bring together a specific group of products okay and you're bringing them together uh because they all have something in common uh you can do some amazing sales with them now on my website uh our our brittle box website i bring together quite a few bundles of products on the brittlebox.com and it's been very, very successful. Um, and it's, I have three specific categories and I did a video briefly explaining these uh, specific categories related to food, but not only related to food, but they're related to specific health issues that some people may have who can or cannot eat certain types of foods. Now I'm going to kind of spill the beans, if you will, and I'm going to show you guys um, uh, a few creative ideas and then from there you can take it and kind of go in whatever direction that you want now why in the world would you want to do bundles number one when you create a bundled package or a bundled group of products okay you can begin what 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 initially happens is that you make a larger sale on that transaction than you would if you sold individual items in by themselves okay so as an example um, I'm on walmart.com and there's a reason why and I'll explain that to you. For instance, do you see these here? This Pillsbury gluten-free chocolate chip cookie mix. Um, $3.28, okay? Uh, you can take this and buy five of them. Put five of them and sell five of them in a, in a, in a quote-unquote case pack. Um, and then from there, you are bundling a product and you're selling them in a larger quantity and you can offer a kind of a discount to your customers. But the thing of it is, is that you can make a huge margin when you bundle multiples of a product together. If I were to take this, let's just say for instance, as an example, if I did this, if I took one of these and I put it on my website and I charged five ninety nine dollars because I wanted to make a couple dollars, why would I bother going through all of that just to make a profit of a couple dollars? It doesn't make sense. If I took the same amount of time and I could create a listing for five of these, I could go on my website and literally uh, create a listing for uh, five pack of these and I could sell them for $29.99 with free shipping. Now, you may be thinking, wow, that's pretty crazy. Who would buy five of those for $29.99? Well, I'll explain who, buy, who will buy them. All across the US, in every single nook and cranny of this country, these types of products are not available as much as you may think they are. In a lot of metropolitan areas, in places like where I, I, I've lived um, in Florida, I've lived in, in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, these types of things are everywhere. But to be honest with you, there's a lot of places in the Midwest, there's a lot of places in the Northeast, there's a lot of places in the Northwest that people can't get these products and they will pay a premium for them. So that's where you would come in and you could bundle them together and perhaps your customer just loves brownies, but she just found out that she's gluten intolerant. Now, this is $2.48, so I put five of those together, okay? So if I were to bundle five, and my cost was $2.48, okay, so it would be $12.40 my cost for five. Now, if I charge $29.99 for a five-pack, okay, then what happens is you could, you could ship out, easily ship that out for around $8 to $9, pretty much anywhere from, from any destination to another in the U.S. for about 9 bucks. So I'll walk away with about seven, between a seven to eight dollars uh, profit, net profit after selling that in a five pack than I would if I just took the, uh, the product and sold it for $6.99 or $5.99. That doesn't make any sense. So when you want to bundle a product together, you're going to create a higher price point, you're going to create a higher margin, and you're just going to make more money per that transaction. Now, if I took, let me, let me say this, let me, maybe we could take three of these and three of these and you put them together, okay? And now you're going to offer those two, and you're going to get six boxes. That's that's a great deal. You're going to get six. The customer is going to see, wow, I get three of each. 
you know what, my, my, my kids, my daughter and my son, both are, are, you know, gluten intolerant and they love cookies and, you know, one of them loves brownies. So that's going to be a great deal because if I have six of them, um, then I'll have some more left over and I won't have to repeatedly order them all the time. Now, where does Walmart, you're going to say, Damien, why are you going to Walmart? Um, bottom line is <laughs> Walmart's online store and even in their, even their retail stores, they are the lowest prices on all of this stuff. And I say stuff. This Specifically, I'm showing you a category of gluten-free. You see right here in the top? Gluten-free products, okay? These are items that are in high demand. Believe it or not, people who are becoming or finding out that they are gluten intolerant or have celiac disease, they have to eat a specific diet. And you can see, I can just show you, look at the, the vast variety of brands. Annie's, Glutino, uh, it goes on and on and on. Um, King Arthur, Milton's. Actually, Milton, this is one of our best selling ones that we offer. Our, our gluten free, these chips, we offer them in a six pack. We do a three, three of these and three of the cheddar. Um, and we put them together and we sell them um, on the brittlebox.com. So, and I mean, if you're online, if you're, if you're on eBay, okay, uh, if you want to sell these on eBay and do bundles that way, that's great. But I'm going to give you a couple more tips. And this is something actually I've never done a video like this. Uh, actually, kind of uh, spilling the beans on on the, all these tips that I've learned over the over the past few years. We are known for making our candies, but just to give you guys a heads up, I have twelve streams of income that um, I currently have, um, and I only say that I'm not saying that to boast. I'm actually just telling you that I I always try to think outside the box when it comes to uh, making money and, and it, when it comes to uh, growing a business. Okay, um, uh, products. Not every single product we sell is a product we make. We do have a huge amount of products that we do make. Yes, but why would you stop there? You, you got to take a look at some of these these uh, niche markets. Um, you know, and again, I, I don't deal in USB cables. I don't deal in technology or um, collectible things and all these knickknacks. My thing is food. I know food more than I know anything else, so I want to stick to that. And by leveraging my experience with food. I can create a very good income, okay? So we have blogs, we have YouTube channels, we have multiple websites. Uh, we actually have six business, six businesses online. Um, we have uh, five, yeah, five or six uh, YouTube channels um, and so on and so on. So there's a lot of variants, a lot of places that you can go, create these like incomes and then build on them, okay? So back to what I was saying. Um, so gl so gluten-free products, okay? This is a... a category within food and grocery that is just blowing up okay and it's not going to stop it's only going to get bigger and bigger so what you want to do is you could just take a look this is just the first page guys by the way okay all right and i got a couple more tips and a couple secrets i'm going to i'm going to show you really quick so listen to this entire video because you're, you're going to freak out when i show you this you're going to think man this is a huge opportunity this is a great idea okay so let's just go to page two i'm not going to go through all of them there's like 30 pages but I just want to show you a couple more things. I'm trying to make a point. Okay, you see all this? Gluten-free, 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 gluten-free. Pastas, the pastas, and pastas. Here's a here's a sugar cookie mix. Look at this, three ninety eight. I could take five of those and easily double the price point and sell them with free shipping and make nearly ten dollars. You know, it, it's just it's it's crazy. Uh, soups. This is huge too. Actually, this is this is one of our one of our products too. <laughs> the soup. So let's go to Glutino. Now, Glutino, you see these right here? Gluten, fro uh, the yogurt uh, pretzels. Let me click on that. I want to show you something. So to, to, to create more understanding about how important it is to bundle products to make a higher price point and obviously make more money, watch this. This is gold. This information right here is gold. Watch. Now, you see this here? This is customers also considered. These are products. When people are looking at this product, they'll start going through the rest of the selection of gluten-free products that they have on walmart.com. You know, I'm going to take a look because maybe my son or my, you know, little Susie or little Johnny, he likes snacks too, but he can't have anything except for gluten-free. So then they click on this. Then they look at, oh, Glutino, wait a minute. They got just plain pretzel twists. He likes those too. Now, this information is golden because all of these products make great bundles. They're, they're on, this, on this list here, or this category, if you will, of customers also considered for a reason. 
If you took this box of cookies and maybe you put in the chocolate covered pretzels and then the plain ones and those three products right here, those three products, one bag of each or one container of each, whatever it may be, bring them together, figure out your price point of what's it cost you to, to, to buy it, double that, multiply it times two and a half, and then you can either give free shipping or you can charge them a, a flat fee of $5.99 or $9.99 and they buy it, okay? Again, keep in mind the secret to selling these specialty food items, this stuff is not every, in everyone's grocery stores. It's not. And a lot of, uh, by the way, a lot of metropolitan like New York, uh, Chicago, uh, Miami, um, a lot of these these truly, truly metropolitan areas, uh, these types of products are very expensive or they're unaccessible. They don't have them. Okay. You go to a local market just on the corner to get some groceries and you got to get some, you know, gluten-free products. They're not, they're not everywhere. They're not there. So someone will pay a premium. If you're going to bring them together, make a listing, you're going to make some money. It's that simple. And, and you know, and if you're not, uh, with, all, with all due respect, if you're not creative enough to come up with an ideas to bundle, that's fine. Because right here, this is, this is telling you, these are your bundles. Just pick out three products. And then you, you post on your website, you know, if you have it, your gluten-free website.com or whatever, um, or if you're on eBay, you know, on eBay, you could bring these three together and say, look, this, this, and this, you know, $19.99 plus free shipping. Make yourself around, you know, an $8, $10 margin on one transaction. And here is, let me tell you this. Um, when you do that, make sure that you offer a variety of bundles because that is going to get your customer to come back, okay? And by the way, on walmart.com, if you spend $35 or more, you get free shipping. So let's just say, for instance, you're, you have your own website. Now, forget about, I'm not talking about um, uh, any other platforms. I'm talking about your own website right now, okay? Um, let's just say uh, you have a website and your orders get fulfilled uh, at the end of each week. Let's say Friday is your fulfillment date on your website, okay? I'm not talking about eBay, not talking about Etsy, not talking about Amazon right now. So you post these, these products up, and on every Friday is the day that you ship. So orders you've accumulated throughout the week prior to Friday, okay? That means Saturday to Thursday. You accumulate a bunch of orders, and you've got enough. Obviously, you would have enough to get free shipping. And it's two-day shipping, by the way. So... You don't even have to inventory this product. Do you see where I'm going with this? You don't have to buy 5,000 bags of this, 10,000 bags of that, or 100 boxes of this. You accumulate your orders. You make sure that you, within either your Shopify store or whatever store it is that you're doing it, you let your customers know that shipping is between Thursday and Friday of each week, et cetera, et cetera. So what you're doing is you're not having to inventory all of this, okay? It's almost in a sense like drop shipping in a way, but you're creating these bundles and these bundles are being shipped by you, okay? Because the one thing you do have, when you get stuff from Walmart, they put their labels all over, they put their label on the package. You want the customers to know that they got it from you, not from Walmart, obviously, because you're in the business to make money and you have a margin to make. So, all of this here is, is just free ideas. Customers also bought these products. Okay, well, gee, there's a bundle right here. You have Snyder's Hanover Gluten-Free Pretzels, Vanilla Cream Cookies, and uh, Udi, Udi's uh, Gluten-Free Soft-Baked Cookies. You bring those three together, you got yourself a bundle. Very easy. But it's gluten-free. It's a specialty niche market, and it's growing, guys, okay? This is a great way to make money, okay? It's going to always be there. And your customer base is going to get bigger and bigger because more and more people are finding out that they have an intolerance to gluten. Okay, This is one of three. The other two is sugar-free. You have gluten-free. And then you have organic. Those three groups, those three categories, guys, are just worth their weight in gold. Now, the other great thing, I'm going to show you something really, really cool. Check this out. Okay, so gluten-free pasta. This is also a great way here to, to create 
uh, customers coming back for even more and more stuff. So let's just say again, you, you make a website and it's glutenamerica.com or whatever, okay? And you specialize in gluten products, period. And if you don't have a business uh, that sells gluten-free, well, then maybe you should be thinking about it, to be honest with you. All of these are gluten-free. You see here? Gluten-free, gluten-free, it all comes up. The variety is immense. But how could you attract people to buy gluten-free pasta? Gee, I don't know. Why don't you just create a bundle that has gluten-free pasta and you have three different shapes of pasta that are gluten-free and you have gluten-free spaghetti sauce. Right here, gluten-free spaghetti sauce. Look at this. See this? So now you're going to bring together, let's say, three boxes of pasta. Cost you like a buck and change. You got your organics here, right? Organic pasta sauce. You add the pasta sauce. You have four products in your bundle. Okay, guys? Here, again, just an example. You guys can use your imagination and go wild with this. You can pair up so many different products. And you create a $20, $30, $40, $50 dollar price point item. Okay? And you've got these gluten-free sauce. So I put this together with four boxes of pasta for $24.99. And you use a flat rate shipping box. And you're, you, you walk away with like a $10, $12, $11 pr uh, profit margin. Again, that, uh, it will vary based upon however much your price point is. Whatever you want to do with the price point. Um, I would highly recommend that you try to get between like an eight, between eight to ten dollar uh, margin on each transaction. Don't, if you're making a dollar to two dollars and you're going through all of this to do this, it's not worth it. Okay, it's just, just for this type of products. If again, if you're if you're making your own products, and most of oh, no, my videos are about producing your own products and getting out there and selling. Okay, but every now and then I'm going to show you these videos. These are other ways that I make money with food for products that I don't even make. Okay. And again, this is video is just about gluten-free. I'll do one on sugar-free and I'll do one on organic. When I show you the sugar-free video, you will freak out. The margins there are just even more because the products I'll show you, they weigh next to nothing to ship. Now, granted, some of these things, obviously, this is a glass jar. This, this is going to be a little heavy, but you can still make money. Trust me. So, guys, I hope that video kind of opened your eyes to another concept, another idea about selling food or being in the food business. I'm all about creating food products and making things up myself and, and packaging them. And that's what, that's what my channel is about. But this right here is another, another way, another avenue, another source of income for you guys. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to always bury it necessarily. Selling online doesn't mean you got to sell flat screen televisions and uh, $4,000 vacuums and, and stuff, guys. There's ways to make money. And this stuff is just, you just got to understand how it works, the concept. Once you get that down, you can make money. Well, I can tell you I do. I make plenty of it. So take my advice. Take a look around the site. And this is just one. So I hope this helps you out, guys. If it does, please do give me a thumbs up. And I always appreciate your feedback. Thanks, guys.